Hey everyone, how's it going? All right, uh, just here with me. Um, pro wrestling, pro wrestling. All right, just sharing this. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm. I'll introduce myself into a, a minute here. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. All right, Star Wars. Do, 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 do. Um, mm, all right, so, yeah, uh, all right, do, 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 all right, uh, all right, so, yes, okay, here we go, all right, uh, uh all right, so, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm Jim, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, um, all right. I'm just sharing this to a lot of like, uh, all right, all right, so classic TV, all right, ultimate, all right, uh, all right, all right, yeah, there we go, uh, let's see. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah. Bongos. Okay. Congas and bongos. All right. Birthdays. All right. Birthday wishes. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, welcome. All right. So now I'm going to introduce myself here. Let's see here. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, come on. Come on. All right. There we go. All right. All right. So, uh, hello. Uh, enter. Okay. All right. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, mm. All right. Okay. 65. All right, everybody. Uh, yeah. Um, hello, and uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0. Uh, episode 251 is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Um, I'm Jim, and uh, yeah. Um, uh, first of all, I want to launch a disclaimer here. Um, I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, uh, the F word, fuck. Um, be prepared for it now. Go get a box of Kleenex. Go to your safe spaces. So, anyways, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, what, yeah. So, it is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live episode uh, 251. And I'm going to share this to more options. Share to a group. All right, let's see here. Uh, Chain Reaction Canada. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Mm, okay. So, yeah, if you're out there, say hello. We got that disclaimer over with. Um, who we are? Okay, all right. Welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 251. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live, we air Sundays uh, on Facebook and the occasional Fridays and Wednesdays. We're in our fifth year as Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in 2018. So, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live does craft beer reviews over like 200 and counting like this one tonight. Tonight's craft beer is called Powerhouse APA. Or no, it's, it's the Homecoming. It's an APA. It's by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Trying it for the very first time tonight. We accompany that with like, um, um, yeah, we do, like I said, we do craft beer reviews, like over 200 counties from craft breweries right here in Sarnia, in the area and across Ontario and across Canada. We pair it with a good cigar. Tonight's cigar um, is like, uh, for all you cigar freaks out there, it's a Rocky Patel quarter century <coughs> classic one excuse me all right i'm gonna light mm. Mm. <coughs> oh i 
takes getting some use some used to. But anyways, um, yeah, we pair it with a good with the craft beer and cigar. We pair it with like a good spirit. Um, it uh, um, like tonight's. I'm share. I'm washing it down with Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right. So anyways, what's our notification here? All right. Um, okay. Hello, Larry, Susan, how are you guys? Great. Great. You should chime in tonight. Um, yeah. Well, more about that. We talk about classic movies, classic TV, classic sci-fi, classic pro wrestling, sports, classic rock, like this week in Van Halen history. Uh, we're going to cube the Rubik tonight, bongo solos. Um, we've got, we talk about like local events near you, countdowns to holidays, birthday shout outs to our friends. And I see you've just joined us. Thank you. All right. Um, mm, mm, mm. Re uh, retro classic nostalgia yesteryear are the buzzwords here. So Big Jim Blogcast Live is seen in um, the US, Canada, also worldwide now from the UK, Australia, Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, and so on. Thank you for watching. Turn us on, tune in, enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned here, of course. I uh, want to give. Um, I'll remind everybody tonight, uh, starting off, that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Uh, the audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor FM, Listen Notes, and all these little places where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So, all right. I um, want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Um... All right, wait a minute. Uh, share to a pay or to a group here. Um, mm, all right. Sarnia, Sarnia, Sarnia. Okay. Oh. Um, all right. There we go. All right, there we are. All right, yeah, uh, I want to give shout out to you watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially Sarnia Rocks, Sporting Sarnia, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups. Um, yeah, uh, pop, Van Halen, Rat, classic rock groups, um, uh, cigars, craft beer, Star Wars, sci fi, pro wrestling, Blogspot, the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, Rat, Robin Crosby tonight. Um, mm, 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 mm. All right. So, um, what do we? Okay. So, retro, 80s retro, boom, post, 80s retro station, post. Um, all right. And so, mm, all right. Okay. Post, post. All right. So, all right. So, anyways, okay. So, anyways, yeah, um, yeah. So let's get tonight. Uh, we're we're gonna cue. We've got. Oh, wait up here, bongo solo. Boom! First one of the night. There we go. Um, all right. So tonight we've got on tap here. Before we get to our craft beer, and I'm trying it for the very first time. We're going to do a lot of birthday shout-outs, we're going to do a lot of countdowns, we're going to talk about uh, Tom Selleck's long-lost uh, movie, Runaway. Uh, the Dukes of Hazard Season 5, The Coy and Vance Year. Uh, classic tag teams, the Young Stallions. Speeder Bikes from Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. Um, our classic album, Invasion of Privacy, Rat. Uh, um, classic guitar duos, Robin Crosby and Warren D. Martini. This week in Van Halen history. Um, and plus we'll do, a, it's Mother's Day, and we'll do a classic uh, Mother's Day TV, classic TV mom salute a Mother's Day. So, mm, mm, all right. <coughs> so let's get it going here. Um, for all you cigar freaks, this is like a uh, Rocky Patel uh, vintage 25th anniversary quarter century cigar got that from uh, Riverfront Cigars here. So, yeah, and uh, let me first of all take the time out to wish every mother out there, young, old, or new, uh, uh, a happy Mother's Day, including my own mom. So happy Mother's Day, which I spent some quality time with today. 
And so, yes. Yeah. So if you're watching, happy Mother's Day to everybody. I'm right on. And so, all right. Uh, let's see here. If I can do more shares. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Share to a group. All right. So, hmm. Um, all right. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I love rock and roll. Put another down. Oh, no. Anyways, we're not. Uh, all right. So, anyways, sweet uh, uh, people. Um, all right. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, before we get to our birthday shout out, before we get to the meat and potatoes of like the, the broadcast, tonight's craft beer. And uh, wait a minute, I am going to send in Messenger, um, Powerhouse, let's see, all right, whoops, no, uh, okay, Powerhouse, all right, Brew, wait a minute, hmm, okay, so yeah, that's the same there, all right, send that. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, all right. All right. So we got that going on. Tonight's craft beer, and I've got their, like, uh, glass here, uh, is called Powerhouse Brewing, or it's called Homecoming IPA, or APA, Homecoming APA, sorry. Um, now, it's, mm, okay. Wheat, water, barley, malt, wheat, malt, hops, yeast. All right. Proudly brewed by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. And I am trying it for the very first time. But I want to... Okay, let me roll this out here. My beer rating system, okay? Now, here's where it is. Okay. I rate the beer... For all of you who are live on here, uh, I rate the beer from like uh, 1 out of 10. Uh, 10 to 6 being like the happy face. Awesome... Outstanding, awesome, excellent, very good, above average. And then we get into the sad face territory, five to one. Average, below average, not very good, terrible, awful, you know. So anyways, um, all right. And also, wanted to uh, pick the, tell, tell you guys about this, the Growler. It's your Ontario Craft Beer Guide. Um, it is, uh, you can pick it up at any uh, craft brewery. And they are they try to stay up to date with uh, all the uh, craft breweries in Ontario, Canada, um, with what they do, what they serve, their their services, and all that. So pick one up there. So all right, and uh, okay, here we go. So uh, all right, so here we go. It is called Homecoming APA. Now I'm going to open it up. There we go. All right, as you remember, I'm trying it for the very first time here. All right, so oh yeah, look at that. All right. Ooh, look at the head on that. Oh, clear. Pretty clear. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, will that settle down? All right. So, um, okay. So, anyways. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Let's get that little bit. Ahead. Mm, all right. So, I'm going to try this for the very first time. Um, all right. I'll just wait a second here. I brought another can. I brought it back up, as you can see. So, hmm, hmm. <coughs> All right. So here we go. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try. It for, I'm trying it for the very first time. I do give it a rating out of ten. Uh, I do give it a rating out of ten. Um, as the broadcast goes along, I got to get a feel of it. You know, so anyways, here we go. Mm. Mm. A little bit of a tangy taste to it there, yeah, but other than that, it goes down really smooth. It's really clear. I'll just top this up. Um, too early to get a reading on it right now, but, uh, you know, 
Got let you wait for the foam to go down here, for the head to go down here. All right, finishing it off with like uh, mm, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, let's do some more sharing here. Okay. All right. All right, so, hmm. <coughs> okay. All righty. Um, all right, blog talk. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, hmm. 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 Okay. So, we're going to, all right, so anyways, as you've been watching this year, um, oh yeah, that's another thing, all right, mm. okay, I'm going to do some more sharing here, this is a Rubik's Cube, all right, All right, there we are. All right, now, I've been trying to get the blue side. All right, the blue side, 20 turns. Um, I'm going to do this three times tonight. And as most of you know, a little bit of history about the Ruby's Cube. This was introduced in the early 80s. So anybody under 30 might not know what this is. So anyways, uh, yeah. So anyways, 20 turns um, with the Rubik's Cube. Um all right, I'm going to try and get, like, the blue side. Here we go. Drum roll, please. One, two, three, four, um, fuck. five, six, uh, seven, eight, um, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That's it. That's it. That's as far as it will. Fuck. So if I don't get uh, the blue side or solve the entire Rubik's Cube puzzle on the last episode of Big Jiff Blogcast Live this year, later on in November, I'm going to smack, I'm going to take this apart and put it back together live on air. And you can hold me to that promise. There we go. And I've got my own Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug here. All right. And so, all right. So, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, we can get some birthday shout-outs here. All right. So, okay. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, anyways, I'm going to put this over here for now. Um, all right. So, we get to our birthday shout-outs. I've got the craft beer. Looks like the head's going down on this one. This is called Homecoming APA by Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, trying it for the very first time. Let's give it another go. Mm. Mm. A little bit of a tangy taste there, but, uh, yeah, um... It, uh, um, it's good. Goes down smooth. Little, like I said, a little bit of a tangy taste to it. Goes down really smooth. Um, clear complexion there. So let's top this up. All right. Mm, okay. So chasing it down with like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla here. All right. So, okay. Mm, 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 all right. Good combo so far. Okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> okay. So let's get to some birthday shout outs now. All right. Mm. All right. Happy birthday shout outs. They go out to um, from this past week, May 8th to the 14th. 
uh, Linda Louise, Jim Strauss, April Scott, Christopher Wentworth, um, Lynette Brown, Cynthia the King, Nilsson De Leon, Jeffrey Stewart, Tina Lecky, Liz Matthews, um, Ed Miller, Jeanette Rankin, Susan Hatt, Donna Begg, Sandy White, Amy Matheson, Matheson John Scarf, Terry Tatey, and Tina Jackson. All right, people. I hope you got. I hope you guys had yourselves a happiest, great birthday today. Oh yeah, Marie Lyon Clayton, happy birthday to you too. So, all right, get get everything that's coming to you on your birthday. Happy birthday from Big Jim's Blogcast Live. So yeah, all right, okay. And so, hmm, okay, hmm, <laughs> all right. So yeah, there we go. Um, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. All right. So, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if I... Oh, okay. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. Mm. All right. So yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 251 Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Thank you for watching. Ending your weekend with me. Um, we've got our craft beer for tonight. It's accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, it is called Homecoming APA and is by... There we go. It is by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer, beer for the very first time. Mm. Like I said, a little bit of a sharp, tangy taste to it. Rather than that, goes down smoothly. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you're still here and sticking around by the end and you want to throw out a number, see if it matches up with mine, you can feel free to do so. We're all about our audience participation here at Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, yeah. So, mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, Powerhouse Brewing Company. They're go. Out, they're off the beaten track in London, Ontario. So, mm. Mm. all right. Mm. Okay. So, as we get to some countdowns. Uh, first off, wish uh, every every mother out there a happy Mother's Day, including my own mom. And so. All right, so let's see here. Okay, toggle that, toggle that. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, all right. Father's Day is in 35 days. Our Victoria Day long weekend is in eight days. Summer is in 38 days. Canada Day is in 48 days. Mm, Memorial Day for our U.S., for our friends in the United States is 15 days away. Our August long weekend is 79 days away. Our uh, Labor Day long weekend is 113 days away. And Remembrance Day for, Can for Canadians like us is 181 days away. All right, those are some countdowns. That deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right, so yeah, and we we'll get to some local events here. Um, all right, so yeah, so this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 5.0, episode 251. It is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Um, um, yeah. Uh, we've got our, uh, we've got like our, uh, craft beer going on, uh, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, it, uh, mm, 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 damn, all right. Our craft beer for tonight by the, uh, Powerhouse Brewing Company in, uh, London, Ontario is called Homecoming APA. Um, mm, yeah, so they, they don't give in much information on it. It's just that. It, mm, mm. 
mostly I can put it as like a tangy sweet tangy little tangy aftertaste to it but it does go down pretty 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 smoothly there um, whether it's a spring summer fall beer I'll let you know I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast but good good color good balance um, yeah so all right and if you are still here by the end of the blog cast uh, I give it a rating out of 10 and if you want to uh, throw out a number there at the end feel free to do so mm. Mm. All right. So, okay. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, anyways, um, yeah, before we get to local events, I just want to remind everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on, uh, on Spotify, Apple podcast list listen notes.com all these audio listing platforms you're listening to your podcast to plus my own youtube channel big jim blogcast live at youtube.com shout out to everybody watching in the port elgin sarnia groups like sarnia rocks chain reaction um supporting sarnia uh all the pop culture retro classic nostalgia groups um all the uh van halen rat um hard rock hair metal groups craft beer cigars star wars Pro Wrestling, uh, Classic TV and Movies, Dukes of Hazard, uh, Robin Crosby, Warren D. Martini Groups, the Rubik Cube Groups, Bongos. Thank you very much for watching. All right. So as we get into some, like, local events here, um, mm, for the past couple of years, um, we, did, we didn't have them. Like, COVID, everybody had to wear a mask, everybody had to stay indoors, yada, yada. Uh, the buzzwords used to be hiatus, canceled, postponed, rescheduled, and um, now it's over. All right. Um, it, uh, yeah, they're back and, and they're back and they're better than ever. Uh, here we go. Now, Blue Water Border Fest. All right. That happens June 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 2023 in Centennial Park, Sarnia. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the acts are Justin Moore, Tim Hicks. Uh, City and Color Sheepdogs, Blue Stones. The Saturday lineup is awesome, though. Daughtry, Theory of a Dead Man, and Pop Evil. Tickets, you got to go to tickets, ticketscene.ca for your uh, for your um, for ticket prices to get them. Um, one thing about like uh, Blue Water Border Fest, Mark Pern and the guys, the organizers, picked up the pieces where they left off. Uh, they're friends of the blogcast, so we may or we may not get tickets to give away on here, but watch out for that. Um, they did a pretty awesome job of picking up the pieces where Bayfest left off, and um, we sent some winners to the to Blue Water Border Fest. Uh, maybe we'll send some winners tomorrow to, to this year's Blue Water Border Fest. You never know. So stay tuned. We might, we may, or may not get tickets to give away on here. Revelry Music Festival. Um, Revelry Music Festival, uh, July twenty first, twenty to twenty third, all ages. The acts are the Arkells Lights Living Room for small uh, Gypsy Flats, a little white, $95 admission, general admission, $135 weekend pass. That, ha that happens in Canada Terra Park in Sarnia. Uh, Saturday, August 12th, 6.30 p.m. The band Rumblefish, they're an awesome band. Uh, they're rocking the Duke d'Orleans uh, too. The tickets are $30. Bucks. Um, they, play a, they, they board six, you board 6.30 p.m., the, the cruise is from 7 t till 10 p.m. Contact a member of Rumblefish for tickets. Um, Saturday night dances, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the uh, Sarnia, mm, Sarnia um, mm, Legion downstairs, $7 cover charge, classic rock and country. Uh, that's at 286 Front Street North. They run from May to June. Uh, Saturday, September 25th, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. The Mud Men are at the Forest Fall Fair, 45 Jefferson Street West. It is their 25th uh, anniversary tour. Tickets, go to the official Mud Men Facebook page to get them. All right. Um, mm. What else do we have here? Oh, yeah. Sarnia and Kidman Rib Fest, June 16th mm. till June 18th, 2023. It's in Centennial Park, Sarnia. You've got True Fire and Chain Reaction, two awesome bands 
Um, playing at uh, at, at Sarnia Kinsman Rib Fest. Um, ribs, music, craft beer, what more can you ask for? It's going to be an awesome time, especially with True Fire and Chain Reaction playing up there and playing their tunes. Rock on. Rock, the, the, this band, both bands truly rock. Saturday, May 20th, 7.30, again, Chain Reaction at Black Gold Brewery and Petrolia. Um, <coughs> Saturday, June 3rd, 2023, 8 p.m., Smile and Wave. It's a tribute to 80s pop at Rustic. Uh, Saturday, June 11th, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. is the Psychic and Wellness Fair at the Navy Club in Sarnia. So go all out for that. All right. Mm. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Boom. All right. All right. So, yeah, what do we got, what do we got here? Just look, looking at some of these notifications here. All right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right just looking all right here we go with like these notifications what, what do we got here all right okay mm. all right so what do we got all right mm. okay Okay. Do, 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 do. No, we're not. Okay. Anyways, uh, do, do, do. hmm. All right. There we go. We're gonna check out these notifications here. Then we're gonna. All right. Do 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 do. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. So anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023. We got bongos. Boom. All right. So here we go. Uh, tonight's craft beer, uh, before we get going here, is accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, all right. So, mm, mm. All right, good. So, yeah, tonight's craft beer tonight is um, Homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Trying this for the very first time tonight. Um, mm. Mm. A little bit a little tangy aftertaste to it, but it does go down smoothly. Um, can't get a read on it yet, whether it's a spring, summer, or fall beer. But, um, you know, what? later on in the blog, and when I do these blog, these crap beer reviews, I don't go like, well, hey, yes, it's a very exquisite tasting beer, and we've got like, you know, um, it's very, it warms the cockles of my heart. No, you know what? I don't do any of that fancy shit. I just go with my gut on it. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, Homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. Gotta say, so far, so good. Mm. 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 All right. So, okay. You never know. Wow. Good cigar here. Mmm. 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 <coughs> All right. Mmm. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um. All right. Now we're going to get right into it. Our first, uh... Mmm. We've got a classic uh, movie here. All right. So, mmm. Um, mm. our classic movie is called Runaway, and it was released December 14th, 1984. Uh, there we are. There's like, uh, it, uh, starred Tom Selleck as Sergeant Jack Ramsey, Cynthia Rhodes as Karen Thompson, uh, Gene Simmons as Charles Luther, Dr. Charles Luther, and Kirstie Alley as Jackie Rogers. Now... The plot, yeah, Tom Selleck was in his mid, like, uh, Magnum P.I., uh, uh, was still doing his uh, mid Magnum P.I. TV series, and Gene was still with Kiss in this era of the mid-80s. They were without the makeup. Um, all right, so it, the, the premise of this movie it was set in the near future. I don't know if it was 2020, 
something. Uh, robots are a part of everyday life now. When a robot malfunctions, they're known as runaways. And the runaway division of the police squad um, train in robotics are there to track down and mobilize the running the the the, the, ru the runaway robot. And so uh, Sergeant Jack Ramsey, he's a runaway runaway division veteran, and his new partner Karen Thompson investigate a robotic homicide when a household robot murdered a family with a knife and a gun. So um, Jack discovers that the robot is currently like uh, been carrying around has been compromised and hacked and its safety features were overridden. Now, Ramsey, after the, uh, after the investigation discovers that Dar Dr. Charles Luther, all right, um, set up a program that allows robots to ID humans using heat rays while taking, while taking cover, he killed his fellow researchers and tried to sell the uh, technology on the black market. So, uh-oh, so, all right. Um, now, Ramsey tries to arrest Luther, but uh, fails. They find Jackie Rogers, uh, his, Luther's lover. She double-crossed him, tried to sell the technology herself, and is scared because Luther would stop at nothing to kill her. Luther hooks, uh, kidnaps Ramsey's partner, Karen, in exchange for Jackie and the templates. Uh, Jackie gives him the templates, and Luther kills her with, like, um, bullets that go around corners. Uh, Luther escapes, he uses computers to find out about Ramsey and his son. Luther kidnaps Ramsey's son, Bobby, and they meet at an unfinished skyscraper. Uh, Sergeant Ramsey has a fear of heights. Um, they, uh, Luther has robotic spiders that uh, spray acid just in case he's double-crossed. Ramsey and Karen escape uh, the skyscraper while destroying the robotic spiders. The spiders are actually killed, they accidentally kill Luther as when he steps out of the elevator while fighting off Ramsey for the templates. Um, of course, this uh, this was a good movie. Like, I mean, sure, um, you know, it was, an, it was a good movie to me, but the budget for this movie was $8 million, and the box office was only like $7 million. So it was considered a failure, for Tom, a box office bomb for Tom Selleck. Um, but they spaced the... Also coming out at the time, were they were competing against Terminator and Star Trek, Star Trek Three: The The Search for Spock. So, um, I did post several scenes from the movie um, on my blogcast page and my face my Facebook page. Um, like, uh, oh God, um, the. Uh, uh, Oh yeah, uh, the bullets that go around the corners, the, the, the creepy spiders. Uh, and if you remember this movie, look for it. I got clips on it on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So there, <clears throat> there we go. Run away. Mm. All right. And the, it's the future. Machines are intended to do our work. Are being programmed to turn against us. Someone must stop the madman who started it all. And so, yeah, there it is. But yeah, and again, it was a cool movie. Um, I went and seen it along with my buddies because uh, it was 1984. I was 14 years old. Mm. Mm. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Mm. Now, all right. So what else? Okay. Yeah. All right. And so, and guess what I've got on the TV right now? I have the DVD of the Dukes of Hazard season five. The coin. That's what. What's up next? What's on tap next here? It all deserves a bongo solo. All right. So okay. So anyways, uh, what do we do here? All right. So all right. Toggle that. Toggle that. All right. So I've got. Uh, yeah. Tonight's craft beer accompanied. Well, we've got triple combination here a good it's got a good cigar it's a rocky patel vintage oh ouch bam ow that hurts fuck um all right so it's a rocky patel cigar mm. Mm. <coughs> excuse me all right so tonight's craft beer being accompanied by crown royal vanilla 
Um, mm, all right. Mm, all right. Um, it is called Homecoming APA it's by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Um, mm, mm, all right. Uh, it is. It, there's a little bit of a tangy aftertaste to it. It could be a spring beer. We'll start it out with that. Um, I got to get a reading on it all through the blogcast. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here sticking around, you want to throw it a number, feel free to do so. But yeah, we'll start it off as a good spring beer. Mm, mm, mm. Goes down smoothly, but there's a little bit of a tangy aftertaste to it. You can really... Oh, yeah. Wheat malt. Yeah, that's what it is. You can really taste the malt in this. So, yeah. And again, they are by, this is from the uh, Powerhouse Brewing Company in, uh, in um, London, Ontario, Canada. Mm. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Um... Yeah, so like I said, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. That deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Um, Want to remind everybody tonight that this blog cast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially like Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock, supporting Sarnia. Um, Chain Reaction. Um, Glenn and the Guys, great band there. Great hard rock and band, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. All the classic rock, hair metal, Van Halen, Rat, uh, Robin Crosby, Warren D. Martini groups, craft beer, cigars, uh, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, mm, all right. Mm. Um, yeah, all the Rubik's Cube, bongos. There you go. Mm. Mm, okay. All right. All right. There we go. Mm. Oh. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um, now we get on to our like. Uh, all right. We get on to the the fun stuff here. Um, we've got Dukes of Hazard season five. All right. There we go. There's the cast of the Dukes of Hazard. There's another. Uh, cast photo of them but this season all right the fifth season and if you're wondering why Catherine Bach is only pictured on the uh, on the fifth season cover DVD I will uh, tell you why now all right so anyways hmm. all right so anyways hang on here a bit um, all right so earlier now, season five of the Dukes of Hazard premiered on CBS Friday, September 4th, 24th, 1982, in the 8 p.m., 9 p.m. time slot. Now, we've got two new cast members here uh, Brian Cherry and Christopher Mayer, who played Coy and Vance Duke. And why are they? Uh, I will explain this to you, like, uh, momentarily. Why, are, uh, why do we have two new Duke boys? Well, anyways, I will explain it. Okay, the cast for this season, uh, Byron Cherry is Coy Duke, Christopher Mayer is Vance Duke, John Schneider is Bo Duke, Tom Wolpat is Luke Duke, Catherine Bach is Daisy Duke, uh, Denver Pyle is Uncle Jesse, James Best is Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, uh, Sorrel Book is Boss Hog, Ben Jones is Cooter Davenport, and Shunny Schroyer is Deputy Enos Strait, and also Rick Hurst is uh, Deputy Cletus. So... Now, the premise for Season 5, Bo and Luke, as explained to the public there, Bo and Luke are gone to the... are gone. They left Hazard to fulfill a lifelong dream of racing in the NASCAR circuit. Coy and Vance Duke, all right, are cousins 
aren't they all cousins in Hazard County? Um, anyways, they have returned after a six-year absence. Wow, it's <laughs> awesome being uh, watching all the Duke. But anyways, um, they uh, have returned after a six-year absence to help Uncle Jesse and Daisy run the Duke farm. And also, Enos Straight returns to Hazard after California. I'll explain all about that. Um, now, backstory in this, the true life story, is that Tom Wilpat and John Schneider were fired after not reporting to the set uh, for filming, for filming, or they walked out. Depends on who you believe, uh, because they had a contract dispute with Warner Brothers over the merchandising royalties from the sales of Duke merchandise, and they wanted what they felt they were they were owed, since it was their name, it was their likenesses. Um, their, their, that their, their faces and likenesses. Uh, Catherine Bach also wanted to walk out, uh, but Tom and John sticked her, convinced her to, uh, stay put. Now, Byron Cherry and, uh, mm, mm, uh, Christopher Mayer, Brian Cherry, or Byron Cherry were quickly hired by Warner Brothers as production was pushed back a few weeks. Now, we've got the season five episodes here. Um, all right. So the reason Sonny Schroyer returned? Well, he had... Er, uh, do, do, do. Um, all right. Enos, the reason Enos Strait returned was, uh, as I covered this in an earlier blog cast, um, there was a spinoff of the Dukes of Hazard called Enos. Now, um, that was canceled uh, after... Oh, God, after... Oh, fuck. Um, but, uh, anyways, that was canceled after quite some time, and uh, Enos Strait was written back into the into Season 5 of the Dukes of Hazard. So, um, now... Okay. So, anyways... All right. Um, season 5 episodes, we've got, like... Uh, and they're, they're... Okay. So, here's, like... Uh, they're... There's a picture of, like, uh, Coy and Vance and Daisy. Um, we've got the new Dukes. Duke Strike It Rich, Lawman of the Year, Hazard Hustle. And uh, as you watch these, you realize, um, okay, so we've got, by the way, the ratings were, like, tanking big time this on season, at, on season five. Um, hmm. All right, so let's see here. Mm. It was episode 19, and they said, Welcome back, Bo and Luke. And so, all right. Um, okay. So, anyways, it was episode 105. Um, it's season five episodes, usual Duke plot lines, generally jumps. Boss Hogg is a scam running. He tries to frame the Dukes for some crime, etc., um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So, anyways, um, it, uh, now, at, uh, when, when Bo and Luke come back, of course, there's no room for Coy and Vance anymore. Um, it was... They, when Cole, when Bo and Luke come back, they return to Hazard County as a successful NASCAR run. Coy and Vance decide to leave Hazard to take care of their, like, Uncle Albert and Aunt Jessie's farm. Well, Uncle Albert is in the hospital. Isn't that nice of them? Isn't that, like, awfully nice of them? All right. So, um, it was by the time of this episode that Warner Brothers renegotiated with Wopat and Schneider because the show's rating were taking a huge hit. I mean, this was start... This season was start alone as the rating slide. Now, Coy and Vance are gone by the first commercial break. I kid you not. Like, I mean, they're gone, and they're never heard from again in the Dukes. Um, they, they were, they're never heard from or seen again in all the Dukes, the rest of the Duke, Dukes of Hazard primetime run. And they were never mentioned or referenced at all in the reunion movies. Now, God, that had to be an awkward moment between Schneider, Wopat, Mayer, and Cherry. You know, well, we're leaving now. Okay, everybody, goodbye. So, anyways, um, yeah, you had, like, 
that, like I said, this would this see, this season, season five, was the beginning of the end for the Dukes. As like, you know, um, they used to be a top ten TV show. Now, uh, from seasons one to four, it was a top ten like uh, TV show, ranking from twenty to nine to number two to number six in season four. In season five, it slid to like number thirty four. Um, and that was that was an alarming slide, and season six was their their last season. Um, like I said, Wolfpack Schneider and uh, Warner Brothers reached a settlement, but I think uh, the damage was already done there. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, the competition for when they put it in um, uh, Dukes of Hazard. Okay, you had like uh, on NBC or ABC. You had Benson and the new odd couple. All right. So, and then over on NBC, you had the powers of Matthew Starr, uh, science fiction there. Both of all these shows were like new odd couple and Matthew Starr were like one season hit wonders, which we'll explore later on. Uh, there we go. There's the Friday night, uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. schedule for our season 82, 1982-83 fall television season there. Um, you had, like, uh, all right. On NBC, you had The Powers of Matthew Starr. Uh, and from that hour, you had situation comedies from ABC, like Benson and The New Odd Couple. Um, all right. Mm. All right. And so... Yeah, and there is like, uh, all right. So, and I posted several scenes and clips from the Dukes of Hazard season five, including the the scenes where uh, Coy and Vance, Bo and Luke, they all gets together and they're all in the boar's nest. Yeah, well, we returned. We're we're back. Goodbye. See ya. So it was so <coughs> by that by that episode. It was and the first commercial break. It was a goodbye to Byron Cherry and um, this dude, Christopher Mayer, Coy and Vance, uh, never to be heard from or seen again in the Dukes of Hazard universe at all. So there you go. All right. Here's the original cast. There we, there's one picture of them. And there's another picture with the general lead. All right. So. Hmm. And I got to tell you, when Tom Wolpat and John Schneider returned to, like, uh, the Dukes of Hazard, one of the things that was they wanted was um, better quality writing for the Dukes, you know. But you know what? This was a kid's show. Um, it, uh, you're, you're not going to get more quality writing than, than like, you know, um, you know, so episode 12, da-da-da-da-da, yeah, so... All right. Um, as we close, as season five closes the book on the mystery of what happened to Coy and Vance. All right. So, and I did, like I said, I posted uh, clips from season five, including the reunion between like all the Dukes um, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page there. So, mm, I got it on right now. Um, mm. Ah, I don't know. If any Dukes of Hazard fans are in the house here, did Bo and Luke ever hold a job? Um, mm, mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there we go. Oh, man, good cigar. It really does. It really hits me. Mm. Mm. Mm, all right, boom, that just bongo solo in itself. All right, so, okay. Mm, as we move on now, all right, so, mm, what do we got here? All right, all right, so, yeah, mm. okay, tonight's crap beer, all right, okay, yeah, tonight's crap beer, it's accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got 
Homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. So I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. I brought it back up with me. Um, mm. So I'm going to top this up. Um, mm. Mm. You can taste the malt aftertaste in it, but other than that, it goes down really smoothly. It's a spring beer. We'll start out with that. Um, yeah, so good. Look at the, the clearness in that. You know, reminds me of a little bit of like, uh, it's got an OV esque taste to it. If you rem everybody remembers the beer OV. So, mmm. Mmm. All right. So, wait, I should just top this puppy up. All right. So, mmm. Okay. And I do give this beer a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So, let's see here. There we go. Topping that up. Mm. All right. So, if you're still here, you're still sticking around. Um, you know. Uh, and if you want to throw out a number, see if that matches up with mine, feel free to do so. No. Mm. <coughs> All right. All right. This is a Rocky Patel cigar. Got it from the Riverfront Cigar Place in, uh, in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. All right. So before we get going here, I want to, well, I'm going to give, remind everybody tonight that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Apple Podcast. Um, all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, shout out to watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially supporting Sarnia, Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock, Chain Reaction, great band there, all the retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups, all the rat, hair metal, hard rock, classic groups, Van Halen groups, crap beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blogspot, classic TV and movies, plus the Dukes of Hazard, Rat, Robin Crosby, Bongos, Rubik's Cube, birthdays, the birthday groups, right on. So, yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So, anyways, as we get to our classic tag team of the night, uh, the Young Stallions, Paul Roma and Jim Powers, they were together from 1987 to 1989. Now, they debuted at a WWF, they debuted March 21st, 1987 at a WWF Superstars taping in Los Angeles, Nevada. They were put together by the WWF booking team. In turn, like, uh, they, they, want, they, they, they were used as enhancement talent, jobber tag team. Now, if any of you don't know what an enhancement talent jobber is, they make um, um, an upcoming super rest pro wrestler look good, putting in a few offense. Usually how a match goes is when, you know, a named superstar, let's say Macho Man Randy Savage, takes on a nobody like uh, Barry Horowitz. Uh, Barry's job or... Um, Paul Roma or Jim Powers' job is to make that superstar look good, um, put in their offense and defense, uh, and then the superstar pins them. You know, the, the jobber comes back for a, uh, to beat on the superstar. The superstar retaliates, gets his uh, finishing maneuver in, and pins the, the jobber one, two, three. So that's how that match works. I've seen that match a hundred times. So, anyways, Paul Roma and Jim Powers would go on to lose TV matches against, like, uh, Demolition, the new Dream Team, uh, the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov on house shows. Uh, Roma and Powers would regularly lose to Demolition, and also the Islanders, managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan. So, um, yeah, as I mentioned, Barry Horowitz, classic jobber there. Um, August 8, 1987, they would win against the Hart Foundation. Um, mm, tag team champs in a non-title matchup and win one time against Kamala and Sika and the, and the new Dream Team. It would be Vince McMahon himself, the owner of the WWF, that would like uh, that would uh, accidentally Vince would accidentally like uh, 
um, on air, give them the official tag team name. He referred to them as a couple of Young Stallions, and it stuck. So 1987 Survivor Series, the Young Stallions, along with the Killer Bees, B. Brian Blair and Jumping Jim Brunzel, um, are one of two surviving tag teams. Now, 1988, the Young Stallions will win and lose against the Islanders, the Bolsheviks, Conquistadors, and uh, Demolition. Um, 1988, mid-1988, the Young Stallions began losing matches to the Rogel brothers, the Killer Bees, and they would lose their uh, momentum and push. 1988 Survivor Series, the Young Stallions were eliminated early. 1989, they were uh, at the bottom of the tag team ram, ra ra ranks, uh, <clears throat> losing to the uh, Twin Towers, Bossman and Akeem, and the Powers of Pain. Hmm. Ooh, ouch. Uh, now, all right. Now, hmm, where was I? Okay. Uh, June 19th, 1989, their final victory is over Boris Zukov and Barry Horowitz. Uh, August 1989, Roma and Powers split without any like explanation or angle. Jim Powers would go back to being a jobber with the WWF until 1994. And the Paul Roma actually would form a new tag team. Um, the Power and the Glory with like Hercules and Hernandez with their, their manager Slick and... This would be until October, until October 1991, and then Paul Roma would leave the WWF. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Um, I posted, okay, hold on here a sec. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, okay. Now... Now, I posted several uh, interview pr promos and matches of uh, the Young Stallions on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, so you look for it, like it. Um, yeah, there you are, their brief moment in history, Jim Powers and Paul Roma. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, that deserves like a... Bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, mm, okay. Here we go. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 251. It is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to every mom out there, including my own, whom I spent some quality time with today. Um, yeah. So, happy Mother's Day. And later on, we'll have, like, a classic TV mom salute that I feel were the best TV moms out there. So, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, uh, tonight's craft beer. All right. We're accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm, okay. Mm. Mm. All right. Tonight's craft beer is called Homecoming APA. Um, all right. So it is by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Got a little bit of a malty aftertaste to it, but it's a good spring beer for now. Um, kind of reminds me of like, uh, OV, Old Vienna. Anybody remember that beer? Um, yeah, uh, still, it's good. I, it's a good barbecue beer. It's a good barbecue beer. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Good poker beer when you're playing poker with your buddies. Poker and barbecue. Um, yeah, outside on the back deck. So, yeah. Um, more on this later, um, but uh, if you're still sticking around by the end of the blogcast, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast, so if you're still here you want to throw out a number, you see if it matches up with mine, feel free to do so, because I said we're all about audience participation here, 
Um, well, yeah, I mean, it was gross, but it was affordable beer. I'll give it that. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, mm. okay. So, yeah, it is Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 5.0. Episode 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Um, as we get into our... Uh, all right. So we've got... All right. So anyways, we've got like uh, our star... Our, oh, wait a minute. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on here. All right. We've got our Star Wars speeder bike, mostly from Return of the Jedi, for you uh, Star Wars fans out there. This is... All right. Your Star Wars speeder bike. Now, Imperial speeder bikes were open air, are uh, open air repulsor lift vehicles that, that emphasize speed and maneuverability over stability. They go wow, 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 as you see in Return of the Jedi. So, actually, the Jedi used the uh, Unicorn class uh, jump speeder manufactured by Kuwait Vehicles, designed uh, for any craft like uh, in the Jedi Order and uh, regional military patrols. So they were both serving like the Jedi and the Imperial military. So now the Imperials used the 614 AVA speeder bikes, known as the Lothal speeder bike, manufactured by the Aerotech Repulsor Company, used by Imperial soldiers for rapid transit. They were phased out. They had dual laser cannons in the front here. So there you go. There's your dual laser cannons, um, your controls right there. Um, they were phased out by the 74-2 speeder bikes, and they had terrain sensors, which were connected to a HUD, that all scout troopers could tell what was ahead of them. So, um, CK-6 swoop bikes, specifically designed and modified to operate in freezing weather, used by clone troopers. Bikes featured a heated cockpit and were equipped with uh, dual laser cannons. Again, now 30 years after the Battle of Endor, 74-2 speeder bikes could be found on the black market. So, um, they have their accessories here. There's their, like, their, you know, dual laser cannon, double for the front. Um, you've got your power cell back on the bottom here. You've got the repulsor lift engines right here. Uh, you've got the altitude controls. You've got uh, flaps for their, you know, control flaps. These go on here. Uh, blaster cannons, dual blaster cannons if you want extra power. Uh, these are the directional vanes right here. These ones right here. So, um, yeah. Um, and if you want to find out a little bit more about speeder bikes, I posted the complete history of, of uh, Star Wars ROTJ speeder bikes on my blogcast page. So look for it in Star Wars lore. Um, here's how, uh, well, we've got a We've got a trooper here, and there we go. That's how he sits in there. Controls, got some, has the controls right there, um, you know. And here are the, where are the flaps here? There we go. There, that's for like, uh, you know, there, there we go. All right. So, control speed and everything. You've got it. You've got the control panel right there. Sensors. All right. So, okay. Mm. Okay, so yeah, and there you go. Like if you, you've seen these and returned, these are actually pretty cool if you wanted to get around. You know, you know, so all right, so hmm. all right, there we go. Dual, all right, dual laser cannons right there. Ooh, and you see this coming at you. Meow, meow. There we go. All right. Hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. So if you do, mm. yeah. So if you want to know more about like uh, uh, Star Wars speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi, um, I, I posted that on my uh, posted the complete history on my blogcast page, my Facebook page. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So yeah. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 251. Uh, it is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Happy Mother's Day to all the uh, 
mothers out there, including my own. So, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Got a good cigar. Oh, yeah, that, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, yeah. Mm, good cigar here. Uh, Rocky Patel Vintage. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, mm, yeah. Uh, my craft beer for tonight is accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm, okay. Mmm. 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 Yummy. All right. Mmm. And this is tonight's craft beer. It is called Homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, in London, Ontario, Canada. So far, so good. Um, just topping it up here. Um, trying it for the very first time, too. You know. Mmm. Mmm. Multi, a little bit of a multi aftertaste to it, but that's all right. That's cool. Checking out some notifications here. Um, yeah. All right. Um, it's a good poker beer, good back deck beer, good spring beer. Um, you know, good barbecue beer so far. Um, and I, uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so... If you're still here sticking around, if you want to throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine, you can feel free to do so. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. All right. I want to remind everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, give shouts out to you watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock, uh, supporting Sarnia, um, all the like a chain reaction, Glenn and the guys, great band there, um, mm, um, all the like uh, pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the uh, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen, Rat uh, groups, craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling. Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, plus Bongos, Rubik's Cube, Dukes of Hazard, Robin Crosby, Warren D. Martini groups. As next up, we've got a classic album here. All right. So. Hmm. All right. Okay. All right. We have our classic album by the band hmm, Rat. All right, there we go. Um, do, 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 do. All right, we've got Rat's second album, Invasion of Your Privacy, uh, released June 13th, 1985. Uh, this was recorded at uh, Rumbo Recorders in Canoga Park, California, and uh, Altman Studios in New York City. It was produced by um, legendary producer Bo Hill. All right. Um, who's worked with Warrant, Winger, Dirty White Boys. Now, the band up at this point was, um, all right, you've got Stephen Piercy, lead vocals, uh, Warren D. Martini, rhythm guitar, Robin Crosby, uh, lead guitar, Juan Cruchet on bass, and Bobby Blotzer on drums. Um, now, this is Rat's second album. Um, the songs... Side one, you're in love, never use love, lay it down, give it all, close to my heart. Between the eyes, side two, between the eyes, what you give is what you get. Got me on the line, you should know by now. Dangerous, but worth the risk. Um, now, it, uh, yeah, one, two, three, and seven are awesome guitar riff songs. Uh, the twin axe attack of Robin Crosby and Warren D. Martini is unparalleled. This album peaked, debuted at the number seven U.S. Billboard album chart, selling over two million copies. Uh, Piercy's voice is in great shape for this album. Great sound. The cover art, uh, the, the model on here was Playboy uh, Playmate uh, Marianne Gravett. She's in the video Lay It Down. I did post a few uh, Lay It Down and You're In Love uh, videos on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. Um... All right. Um, now they began. Um, 
their world infestation tour for invasion of your privacy on March 30th, 1985. Uh, they played 164 shows. It ended April 30th, 1986. Rat went to Japan, the U.S., England, Ireland, Scotland, Germany, back to Japan in the final show, April 30th, 1986, in Anchorage, Alaska. Now, the opening acts were, all right, Dawkin and a little-known band called Bon Jovi. All right. So, and also Accept, Y&T, uh, and also Rat opened for Ozzy Osbourne on 17 UK dates. So, yeah, um, I have, you know, uh, yeah, this is like a classic Rat, Rat's second album, classic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, one thing that irked the members of the band, especially Bobby Blotzer and Stephen Piercy, was that the producer, Bo Hill, was making more money off of this album than, than they ever were. So, yeah, it's like, uh, but, uh, man, nothing you can do about that. Um, all right, classic album here, Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. Um, all right, so, mm. Oh, yeah, it's hard to believe. Bon Jovi, Rat, uh, Bon Jovi would open for Rat. Um, and soon, the table, the, that, you know, um, hold on here a sec. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. So, mm. yeah, you've got, like, uh, yeah, Bon Jovi would open for Rat, and then, and as the audiences became more, you know, um, as Bon Jovi became more popular, Rat would open for Bon Jovi. So, um, yeah, um, all right. So, but you've got, um. I did post a few like uh, "You're in Love" and uh, "Lay It Down" on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, plus interviews with Bo Hill and and, and the band. So look for it, like it. Um, all right. So, okay. Mm, bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So yeah. Checking out a few notifications here. Um, all right, so all right, so yeah. Uh, hmm, all right, okay. So there we go. Hmm, okay. All right. <sighs> yeah, it is. Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 251 is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there, including my own. Mm. Mm. <coughs> uh oh. Be careful, Daisy. Uh, it's some episode where, like, they, you know, it, it's your typical Dukes of Hazard episode. I've got season five on here, uh, the Coin Vance years. The coin advance season, half season, whatever. And so, all right. Mm. The craft beer for tonight. Mm. <clears throat> uh, I've got like a good cigar going here. It's like a Rocky Patel vintage. Um, the craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm. All right. So, mm. Mm. It, the craft beer I have for tonight, trying it for the very first time, it is called mm, Homecoming. It's an APA. It's by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. I've got one of their glasses here. Um, mm, mm, yeah, a little bit of malty aftertaste to it. Does remind me of OV a little. Um, it's a good uh, spring beer, spring summer beer. Um, it's a good poker beer when you're playing poker with your friends or the back deck or when you're barbecuing. So, yeah, it's a, it goes good with those. Like, I mean, mm, yeah. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm. 
All right, and uh, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you're still here sticking around, uh, you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. But, uh, yeah, Homecoming, uh, APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. So there may be a bathroom break coming up, so I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> Holy shit. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> All right. So, mm. Mm. okay. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. A little bit there, there, there. Um, all right. So, we're just checking things out here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Toggle that a bit. Uh, yeah. All right. So, mm. okay. So, we get to our classic guitar duo. Um, all right. We get to our classic guitar duo. Here's a couple of pictures of them. Warren D. Martini and uh, Robin Crosby from Rat. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, here's a, cool, a couple cool pictures of them. Um, there we go. There's another one. Um, yeah, with their guitars. There's an, uh, another picture. All right. Cool picture, though, of Robin Crosby and uh, Warren D. Martini. Um now, Rat was formed in 1981 by lead singer Stephen Piercy. Lead guitarist Robin Crosby joined in 1981. Um, his guitars were a 58 Gibson Flying V, Gibson, Gibson Firebird, Jackson Firebird. Um, amps used Marshall uh, Celestian Heads. Pickup Seymour Duncan, Pedal Boss Tremel Pedal. Warren D. Martini joins Rat in 1982. Now, Warren's guitars were mostly like Charvel Snake guitars. Charvel Sandimas, his amps, uh, Soldano 100 watt uh, tube equation amplifier. His pedals were analog King of Tone, uh, Best TR2, Tremolo, tremolo, tremolo pedal. Um, now, the essential rat with Warren and Robin was 1984's Out of the Cellar. Uh, Crosby and DiMartini shared uh, rhythm and lead guitars. Um, Good, cool songs on that to uh, like uh, take in were um, mm, all right toggle that all right toggle that um, wanted band round and round back for more lack of communication June of 1985 invasion of your privacy we covered that uh, you're in love lay it down uh, there were some classic like uh, um, tunes on there. September of 86, Dancing Undercover, Dance, Body Talk, Slip of the Lip. Warren takes over lead guitarist duties here. Uh, November 88, uh, Reach for the Sky, Way Cool Jr., I Want a Woman. August of 1990, Detonator, Love and Use a Dirty Job, Heads I Win, Tails You Lose. Uh, that was more, they shifted to the more glam, pop, metal. Um, sadly, Robin developed a drug problem by then. He was out of shape for their Japan show. Um, Robin Crosby broke up, or no, Rat breaks up in 1992. Um, sadly, Robin would die of a heroin overdose. Um, he was HIV positive um, on June 6, 2002. Um, it, uh, this is the classic Rat sound. Um, Rat got back together and they released Infestation, Infestation in 2010 with members, original members Stephen Piercy, Warren D. Martini, Bobby Blotzer. Uh, joining them was Robbie Crane on bass uh, and guitarist Carlos Cavazzo from Quiet Riot. Um, but yeah, um, and I posted um, Warren and Robin's guitar rigs, um, their guitars, and Warren or uh, Robin Crosby's last performance on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So look for it. Um, we've got our class guitar duo of the night, Robin Crosby. Warren D. Martini of Rat. There we go. There's a shot of Rat right there. Um, all right. There's some more. You want to see some more cool pics? There we are. There, there they are in action. Um, and there, here's another cool pic of them right here. And so there you go. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So... Mm. Mm. All right. 
So yeah. Um, All right, so yeah, another like uh, great, great guitar duo there. Uh, they came into their own in the 80s. Uh, unfortunately, Robin Crosby passed away. He was, according to Stephen Pierce, he was the glue of the group. Um, <coughs> he was the glue of the group. Um, it held everything together. Um, yeah, so... Um, but, but Essential Rat, like, I mean, check out, like, uh, uh, you want to hear their really rocking riffs from Martini and Crosby. Uh, it's uh, Out of the Cellar, Invasion of Your Privacy, Dancing Undercover. Uh, you know, and, but they changed. I mean, I think that they, it was a little bit of a more pop metal sound on Reach for the Sky and Detonator. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, they, 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 yeah, it was a great guitar great guitar classic guitar duo there so and that deserves a bongo solo in itself all right so yeah mm. it is big jim blogcast live version 5.0 episode 251 it is sunday may 14th 2023 i'm going to cube the rubik again um all right 20 turns uh, i'm going to try and get this like uh side a whole blue side here we go 20 turns all right for all you rubik's cube group uh, fans out there uh watching uh 20 turns i'm going to try and get the side the whole side of blue okay so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18, um, 19, and 20. There we go. Uh, I haven't gotten that yet. I haven't gotten the full blue side, but um, at the end of this year, uh, my last live blogcast in November, I'm going to dismantle this on air and I'm going to restore it to all colors every every like uh i am going to like uh just take it apart and um you know put it back together with like uh lots of, with like all the all the original colors so there you go uh it's second time tonight third um second of third it's the second of three tries tonight so there you go um mm, 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 mm. <coughs> all right so yeah, um, hmm, all right. Uh, my cla my craft beer for tonight, accompanied by a good cigar, Rocky Patel Vintage, um, and accompanied by like uh, a Crown Royal Vanilla. Hmm, very good, very good. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, Crown Royal Vanilla, uh, vanilla flavored whiskey. My craft beer for tonight. It is. It is called uh, Homecoming. It's an APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. There might be a bathroom break here soon, so I'm just warning you. Um, I, I, I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. Mm. <clears throat> a little bit of a malty aftertaste to it, but it does go, go down smoothly. We, it's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Spring, summer, and fall. There we go. Good poker beer when you're playing poker, poker with your buddies. Back deck, when you're enjoying a back deck, you know, it's a good back deck beer. Good uh, mm, good beach, good barbecue beer here. I'm not sure if it's ready for the beach yet. I don't know. But, um, mm, all right, I, I'm going to, like, uh, top this beer up. So, all right, so here we go. Mm, all right, fill it to the rim. All right, ooh, oh, 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 look at that, look at that, look at the foam. All right, ooh, almost leakage there. There was almost some leakage there. Um, all right. Mm. All right, we'll let that settle down. Um, yeah, you know, um, and as if you know, yeah, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, want to throw it a number, feel free to do so. So, all right. Mm. All right. 
So, oh, crap. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Bathroom break. I'll be right back. Okay, all right, I'm back, you know, um, it, uh, all right, so there we go, all right, doing a bit of toggling here, all right, so yeah, um, it is uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023, um, thank you for watching and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, including mine, um, all right, so yeah. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So we both, before we like uh, get to my most favorite time in the blogcast history, and we talk about classic TV moms, and we rate the beer, I got to tell you, um, this blogcast isn't spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you'll see your podcast too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia, Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Supporting Sarnia. Um, Chain Reaction, great band there. All the pop culture retro classic nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, uh, classic rock groups. Plus Rat, Warren D. Martini, Robin Crosby. All the craft beer, cigar groups. Um, all the sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, plus, you know, uh, the bongos, Rubik's Cube, right on. You guys rock. And that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, yeah. All right. So now we get to my most favorite time in the blogcast. It's called This Week in Van Halen History. All right, here we go. Boom. All right. So, from May 8th to May 14th, May 8th, happy 70th birthday to a Mr. Alex Van Halen. Uh, May 9th, 1976, Van Halen played the Golden West Ballroom in Norwalk, California. May 9th, 1986, Van Halen played the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Uh... May 9th, 1988, David Lee Roth plays the Houston Summit in Houston, Texas. May 9th, 1992, Van Halen plays the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Um, May 10th, 1978, Van Halen played the Theater Mag Mag Magdare Magador in Paris, France. May 11th, 1979, Van Halen played the Warner Theater in Washington, D.C. Um, May 11th, 1986, Van Halen played the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, May 11, 2012, Van Halen played the Rexall Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. May 12, 1981, Van Halen begins a fair warning tour at the Metro Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia. May 12, 1985, Edward Van Halen jo joins Cheech Marin on stage in Malibu, California for a benefit concert. May 12, 1988, um, David Lee Roth plays the Country Coliseum in El Paso, Texas. Uh, May 13th, 1983, David Lee Roth is interviewed by TV's Lisa Robinson. May 13th, 1984, Van Halen played the uh, giant, uh, the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California. May 13th, 1986, Van Halen plays the Civic Center in Pittsburgh. May 13th, 2008, Van Halen played the I-200 Center East Rutherford, East Rutherford, Sir, East Rutherford, Third, Rutherford New Jersey. Uh, May 14th, 1992, Van Halen Films records the live right here, right now uh, video at Selland Arena in Fresno, California. May 14th, 1998, Van, uh, Van Halen with Gary Sharon play the Coca-Cola Starplex in Dallas, Texas. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history.
All right. Okay. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Okay. We toggle that up. All right. Boom. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, yeah. And that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, yeah. There we go. Just doing a bit of uh, there we go. All right. It is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. It is Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 251. Thank you for watching. All right. So, this being Mother's Day, um, I've got my classic TV moms here. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, in no particular order, I want to like, uh, honor these classic TV moms. Um, all right. So, okay. All right. So, Ooh. but before we do that, uh, tonight's craft beer, I've got a good cigar going here. It's a Rocky Patel vintage. Um, it, it accompanied also by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm. all right. Um, mm. Mm. Um, all right, uh, the cra our craft beer for tonight, it comes to us from London, Ontario, Canada. It's called Homecoming. It's an APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company. I'm trying it for the very first time today. Mm. And shortly I'll give it a rating out of 10 later on um, in about a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, you know, it's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. It's a good poker beer, good... Uh, you know, it's got a bit of a multi aftertaste to it, but it does go down smoothly. It reminds me a little bit of OV, Oviana. Um, it's a good, like, barbecue beer, back deck uh, beer. Um, yeah, and so, mm, 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 a definite do again, but you know what? Yeah. So, if you're still here, uh, this is in no particular order. As we get to our, like, I want to wish every mother a happy Mother's Day, including my own. Um, we've got in no particular order here, um, our Mother's Day salute, Mama Carlson from WKRP in Cincinnati. She was a station owner and her son was Arthur, Arthur Carlson Jr. Um, Evelyn Harper from Two and a Half Men, her like, uh, she was, uh, Charlie and Alan Harper were her sons. All right. Miss Ellie Ewing from Dallas. Uh, the Dallas TV show played by Barbara, Barbara Bel Geddes. She was a uh, mother to the Ewing clan. Um, we've got, uh, this is not so classic, but if you've been following the, the, the TV show, um, um, mm, um, Animal Kingdom, this is Janine Cody, nicknamed Smurf, Ruthless. Um, all right. And you've got, like, uh, Peggy Bundy from Married with Children. Um, you've got, uh, yeah, she her husband was Al Bundy. Um, her children were Kelly and Bud Bundy, uh, played by Katie Seagal. You have Claire Hugstable from uh, The Cosby Show, played by Felicia Rasad. Her TV husband was Cliff Hugstable. She was a lawyer. Her children were Sandra Hugstable, Denise Hugstable, Theodore Hugstable, Vanessa Hugstable, and Rudy Huxtable. Um, plus, you've got like Mary, uh, like uh, Marion Cunningham, played by like Marion Ross on Happy Days. She was married to Tom or uh, Howard Cunningham. Her children was Richie Cunningham and Joni Cunningham. Um, you've got Carol Seaver here from Growing Pains. She was a housewife, TV reporter. Her husband was Jason Seaver. Her children were Mike Seaver, Carol Seaver. Ben Seaver, Chrissy Seaver, um, and you've got um, uh, Florida Evans, played by Esther Roll on Good Times. She was a housewife. Her husband was uh, James Evans. She was ch uh, she was mother to J.J. Evans, Michael Evans, and Thelma Evans. So, all right, if I'm missing any classic TV moms, I'm sure uh, everybody will let me know. But, um, yeah, all right. So, okay. Mm. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Love and marriage. 
Go together like a horse and carriage. Da 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 da. All right. So, anyways, yeah, bear with me here. All right. Hmm. All right. So, okay. Those are our classic TV moms there. Just toggling this a little bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. Um, okay. So, hmm. <coughs> Before we rate the beer, I'm going to cube the Rubik one more time. All right. So, this it is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 251. And three out of three tries, I'm going to get the full, try and get the full blue on 20 turns. All right. So, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, uh, nineteen, and twenty. So, anyways, not bad. It's like, um, Seven out of like uh, seven out of nine, not bad at all, but um, still not a full blue. But at the end, I, I will promise you, and you can hold me to this, I'll dismantle this live on air, my last blogcast in November of this year, um, and put it put all the original colors back together, so make it look pretty. All right, so yeah, mm. all right, so hmm, hmm. <clears throat> All right, and I want to say to everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So we are not spam. Like us, share up, subscribe to us. Um, I want to give a shout out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups. Sarnia rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Mich uh, supporting Sarnia. Um, Chain Reaction, Glenn and the guys, really great group right there, rocking group. All the like uh, pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, plus Rat, Warren D. Martini, Robin Crosby, uh, Craft Beer, Cigars, Sci Fi, Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, plus the Dukes of Hazard, um, the Ruby's Cube, and the Bongo groups, right on. So, all right. Now, tonight's crap beer, I'm going to rate it. We got it, like, accompanied by, like, a good cigar here. Mm. <clears throat> also accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm. All right. So, mm. 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 it is the crap beer for tonight. It is... Homecoming, it's an APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in, like, uh, in, um, in London, Ontario, Canada. Now, I was trying this for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Good. It was a little bit of a malty aftertaste to it, but it does go down smoothly. My final thoughts on this is a spring, summer, and fall beer. It's a good barbecue beer, good poker beer, good back deck beer. Um can't do anything wrong with that um you know um final thoughts on this and if anybody, anybody wants to throw the number and go see if it matches up with mine you can do it right now so we're all about audience participation here let me give it a like and, and when, when i do these craft beer reviews i don't like uh you know go well it's a very exquisite tasting warms the cockles of my heart beer i don't go all fancy i just go with my gut on it and here we go mm. Mm. all right so homecoming APA, what is it? What's a, what am I gonna give it? Mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. Give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for um, um, homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, in London, Ontario, Canada. Seven out of ten. There you go. Um, all right. So yeah. Hmm. Mm, all right, so 7 out of 10. All right, 
for the uh, for the like uh, mm, for the uh, homecoming APA power, by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in um, in um, London, Ontario, Canada. So here we go. I'll just put that out there. Mm, all right. So comment. Um, mm, mm, all right. Mm. Okay. Seven out of ten. There we are. All right. So yeah. Um, mm, all right. Boom. All right. Toggle that. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. Seven out of ten for that beer. Uh, good beer. Uh, definitely a do again. You know. Um, all right. With when you're with your friends, good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, yeah. All right, let's see if there's anything. Oh, yuck. Man. All right. Ooh. Spilled a little bit on myself there. All right. Mm. 7 out of 10 for um, Homecoming APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, mm. All right. Okay. So, mm, all right. Mm. All right. So, yeah, here we go. Um, mm, mm. We are in dark mode now. Mm, all right. All right. All right. Okay. So, yeah, that was a 7 out of 10 for, um, um, mm. Uh, homecoming uh, APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. All right. So I'm going to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote right now. Um, the greatest lesson in life is to know that even fools are right sometimes, and that's by unknown. The greatest lesson in life is to is to know that even fools are right sometimes. All right. So yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. And that was like. 7 out of 10 on the, the beer tonight uh, by, uh, it is by, it's a homecoming, it's APA, it's an APA by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. So, let's see here. All right. Mm. All right, I'm going to, mm. mm. Enter. There we are. So, all right. So, yeah. All right. So, we get to that point now um, in the blogcast where, uh, yeah. So, uh, Sunday, May 14, 2023. Mm. 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 <coughs> all right. So, if you're looking, now, I've been getting requests for t-shirts like mine um all right so toggle that toggle that all right uh t-shirts like mine like a baseball jersey um if you want t-shirts like mine or any other design like i've got like t-shirts here um mm, all right so here's like uh the baseball jersey with like the last with like uh the logo on the front or the back um all right, so there we go. There it is. Mm. Plain white door. I've got a plain white T-shirt here. Um, mm. All right, so yeah, um, plain white T-shirt here. Um, all right, or any design. Um, they are these T-shirts are thirty-five dollars a pop, shipping and handling included. It's include four to six weeks are to do, uh, are included in the um, it's shipping and handling are included. It's four to six weeks for delivery. You all you have to do is email me with what you want in a design, a kind of T-shirt, tank top, or anything like that, and I'll do my best to get it out to you right on. Um, and show your appreciation for Big Jim Blogcast Live again. Um, yeah, so 
All right, we covered that. Um, all right, so yeah, doing that, toggle that. All right, so anyways, yeah, um, Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 241. All right, people. Um, All right. So, yeah. All right. All right, people. That's it for me. This is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Our craft beer review, uh, 7 out of 10, a homecoming APA by the Powerless Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Our birthday shout-outs, Linda Louise, Jim Strauss, April Scott, Christopher Wentworth, Lynette Brown, Cynthia King, Nelson DeLeon, Jeffrey Stewart, Tina Lecky, Liz Matthews, Ed Miller, Jeanette Rankin, Susan Hatt, Donna Begg, Sandy White, Amy Matheson, John Scarf, Terry Tatey, Tina Jackson. We did countdowns, local events. We looked at the Tom Selleck movie Runaway, Dukes of Hazard, Season 5 with Coy and Vance. Our classic tag team, the Young Stallions. Our Star Wars Return to the Jedi speeder bikes. We cubed the Rubik. Um, our classic album, Invasion of Privacy Rat, our classic guitar duo, Warren D. Martini and uh, Robin Crosby. This week in Van Halen History, Top 5 TV Moms. We rated the beer 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, 7 out of 10 for um, uh, Homecoming by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, all right. Uh, we rated the beer. We cubed the Rubik. Our motivational inspirational quote, the greatest lesson in life is to know that even fools are right sometimes. All right, that's it for me. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. It is uh, Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 5.0. It's 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Right, be good. You will see me next weekend. We begin our mm, five-part series on WKRP in Cincinnati. Um, more on that. We are heading into a Canadian long weekend next weekend. So, everybody, all right, be good. And that's it for me. Uh, for Big Jim Podcast Live 5.0, I'm Jim Brown, and yeah, signing off here. Yeah, all right. You know, enjoy that. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for ending your weekend with me. So yeah, did bongos, bongo solos, boom. All right. Yeah. All right. So, all right, people. Oh, yeah. All right. So, for that, um, be good. Mm. Uh, thank you for ending your weekend with me. And uh, I'm signing off. So, be good, everyone. Mm. Yeah. And uh, cheers to everyone out there. Mm. All right. All right. And uh, you will definitely see me next weekend for Big Jim's Vlogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 251, Sunday, May 14th, 2023. I'm Jim, and uh, cheers, everyone.